An exclusive sneak peek at an office tower that's under construction here in New York. Not only has it altered the city skyline, it could also be helping to save the environment. CBS News correspondent Bianca Solorzano reports. At 55 stories high, New York City's second tallest building, the Bank of America Tower is already impressive. But it's also a tower of green, and we're not talking about cash. How do we make the highest performing building that we possibly can? How do we make it the healthiest work environment? That was the mission of the building's developer, the Durst Organization, and Bank of America, says U.S. Green Building Council President that Rick Fedrizzi. This is an absolute amazing building. The commitment to using green products and building practices means that this more than two million square foot skyscraper uses half the energy and water of a typical office building. The building will have its own turbine to generate two-thirds of its energy. We looked at every material that went into this building. The tower is made largely of recycled and recyclable materials, from bamboo in the ceiling to fossils in the lobby. Throughout the bank space, um, we've used sustainable wood species. This is the walnut that we have um, throughout the space. The windows give maximum light but contain heat. The clear story, the windows from floor to ceiling give you a clear view out, um, allowing na natural daylight in. And the building was designed to maximize the views of nearby Bryant Park. This is an example of one of our three trading floors. The air entering and leaving the building is filtered. On this trading floor, each employee has his own personal air vent. Absolutely. So you can turn it off, you can turn it all the way on, or you can turn it somewhere in the middle just so you can be as comfortable as you need to be. The design of the high-rise has earned it LEED Platinum Certification, an environmental design award given to encourage the global adoption of sustainable green buildings. This project is in fact the first high-rise LEED Platinum project um, that we've seen in the world. It's a design the U.S. Green Council hopes will one day be the standard for all new buildings. Can you imagine the, the end result of, of our children learning in buildings like that and our, and our elderly healing in buildings like that? It's really somewhere where we need to go as a society and ultimately I think that we will get there. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, New York.